Weather from where you live. Well, still some low clouds hanging on, but they're kind of broken in places. And I think with time tonight, there'll be kind of a gradual clearing trend. These clouds will break up a little bit. We're already getting some clearing out here, west central Illinois, parts of Iowa. And with all the abundant low level moisture and a very light wind, to even calm wind, some patchy fog will likely develop. So we're going to have some of that around tomorrow morning. Lows generally about 60 to 65 across the viewing area, then 80 at 3, 82 at 5 o'clock, and back down to 73 by 9 o'clock tomorrow night. Now, the dew points, you know, it will still be a fairly humid day tomorrow. Dew points right on the threshold of what we call muggy. Dew points up around 67, 68, notice 11, 1, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, even 66 at 5. But a secondary cold front will come through and usher in slightly less humid air. Notice what happens to the dew point by 7 to 9 o'clock, back down to about 60 or 61. And after that, if the winds calm down tomorrow night, there could be an, a little additional patchy fog. So not only tonight, but tomorrow night, some patchy fog around. Secondary cold front goes through, less humid air works in. It's going to give us a nice weekend with seasonable temps before some scattered showers and storms come back at us Monday late. Monday night, pull out of here Tuesday morning, and then it gets nice once again. There's the first front that went through today. Secondary front is here. That will come through tomorrow. It will bring us kind of a partly to perhaps mostly cloudy sky, but it may pop a isolated shower or thunder shower tomorrow afternoon with these highs about 80 to 85, 82 Lafayette, Monticello, Burlington, 84 at Covington. And then with the less humid air coming in Saturday with a lot of sun, highs about 80 to 85. So similar temps, it's just going to feel a little bit better on Saturday. 80 at Winnemac, 82 Lafayette, Romney, Battleground area, 82 Frankfurt, and 83 at Covington. High risk future cast, you can see tonight, this is about 4 a.m. Future cast representing at least some patchy cloudiness hanging on, but slowly breaking up and a little patchy fog around. And then that little front comes through tomorrow, late tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening. Future cast doesn't paint much, but I'll tell you, I wouldn't be surprised to see an isolated shower or thunder shower or two kind of pop on that front as it goes through. And then perhaps a little patchy fog tomorrow night. This is around 1130. This is early Saturday morning. And then for Saturday itself, we're stopping it at 2. And then Saturday evening, just a few fair weather cumulus clouds on Saturday. Otherwise, a pretty nice weekend on the way. A couple isolated showers, thunder showers tomorrow. That's where that 20% is there. 59 tomorrow night, 82 Saturday, 81 Sunday. Overnight lows 55 to 60. And then the front comes back at us as a warm front. So some scattered shower storms Monday late, Monday night, Tuesday morning. And then they end. And then it... Gets better again, 78 on Tuesday, 55 Wednesday morning, and up to 83 on Thursday. The average high is generally low to mid 80s, so fairly close to normal. No big severe storms expected, and overall, not a bad seven day forecast. I could, I mean, that's yeah. about perfect. It is. <laughs> Let's hope we can keep it up for football coming well, soon. Absolutely. Welcome back. I'm glad yeah. you keep that good weather going. Yeah. And I tell you what, a uh, new face, well, I should say an old face, a familiar face coming back to uh, Lafayette, and that's yeah. exciting. Yeah, the Lafayette School Board approved what we all thought would happen. Peyton Stovall comes back to Lafayette.